This is some nice relaxing music. Maybe the game will be this nice and relaxing as well. We can only hope. this Tuesday evening. Welcome to tonight's Dragon Takes, which is formerly known as 2XO Reviews, where we take a look at a uh, game that's typically normally, typically normally, yeah, way to talk, uh, a recently released game. In this case, it's Forger. Now, this game and most games that are on Dragon Takes are provided by Keymailer. I will always make sure to let you know if there's a game that's been provided via Keymailer for review or if it's a game that I've actually spent my own money on. This falls under the Keymailer part, so. We are using the controller input method. It does have a keyboard and mouse input method. And of course, by me doing that, I now got to move back over to controller. Oh, it's too many times over. Really? Okay. Of course, I'm going to break something on stream. It's me. It's something's going to break. It's it, it's guaranteed to happen. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's just take a couple of looks at some of the menu things. I should just put my keyboard here. As we know, I don't use a normal desk, so this is a uh, kind of setup we got. Let's take a look at the extras so far for Forager. Unlock different extra content by completing feats. Probably pictures of some sort. We'll find out as we go, because it looks like we're going to be able to unlock at least one of them. Roadmap. Uh, looks to be... Something, uh, farm life, combat updates, and more updates in the future. So this is a game that looks to have something coming to it. So it's not just a one and done that we have to worry about is, uh... You know, done as soon as they're put it out the door. This has already received two updates. This is version 1.0.2. And let's go ahead and hit play and see what we're running with. I don't know why it would start in the middle for the new game, but okay, we'll choose the first slot. All right, we press B to open the menu. We have nothing yet. We can build. Okay, we'll build industrial. Furnace. 
and wants us to build a furnace. No. Oh, okay. No. But we don't have any stone. So how are we going to get stone? We have to build a furnace. But in order to build that furnace, we have to break some rocks. So we need that stone. We now have four stone. Let's continue to break that. We now have a total of eight stone. This should get us enough stone to buy a furnace or to build a furnace. Yep, we have 11 now. Okay. Press B. That's what we'll make that furnace. Where do we want this? Uh, I think we want to put the furnace. Let's be funny and put it up in the top corner, shall we? Okay. We need four iron ingots and four bricks. And yes, if I'm pronouncing things wrong, I'm sorry. That's just how it sounds to me. All right, there's some iron ore. Let's go ahead and try to use the furnace. All right? We need coal to do anything. We need wood to create coal. Okay. So let's go ahead and chop down some trees. And some XP. Need more wood. Yeah, okay, we got six wood. Let's go. We can create three coals. All right, right now we're waiting on the coal to get done. So far, it seems like a cute little game. Oh, there's one coal. Okay. That's like, it seems like a cute little game thus far. And I like the music. All right, we need... don't have enough iron ore let's, let's go ahead and get some more iron ore which was in this one right yeah okay now let's go ahead and open up the menu again and see we need brick as well okay we need a total of four of those so we're gonna need we need one more coal, which means we need to chop down some more wood. Okay. All right. Let's create another coal. Now, I don't know if that's my health that's uh, dying out. Oh, we don't have enough iron ore for that. Or we can only do two at a time. Let's do... We need some more stone. To make the bricks. Let's go ahead and do two of the iron ignits. Uh oh. What's happening? Is it getting nighttime? Is that what's happening? Or am I completely running out of power? Am I trying to do too much? That could happen. We're dealing with that too. Okay. We need two more ignits and bricks. We need bricks. Okay. Maybe the berry gives us health. 
Yes, it gives us energy. Let's use the item. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take out these berries. Let's take out some more of these. Okay. Okay, we have. What are you? Hi, hi, little friend. Hi, you're 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 like a butterfly or something. Hi, can I do anything to you? Can I like? I can't do anything to you right now. Okay. Okay, you're just there. Okay, that works too. Hi, Fletcher. How are you? I'm not sure, actually. That's what I'm guessing. We are in Dragon Takes. We are, this is first time we've adventured into this world of Forager. To see what, uh, what goes on with this. Thus far, it's definitely a cute little game. Ooh, that's worth 12 energy. We'll give myself 12 energy. All right, though it does look like we're about to level up. No, I didn't give myself any energy. Okay. Break the forge. I need four brick and two irons. Let's go ahead and make those bricks. How are you doing this evening, uh, Flitchard? And the little, the little friend is gone. Okay. I was trying to see if maybe I like needed to hit him or something, which would be, it'd be kind of sad if you destroyed him. It'd be just a little bit sad. Well, that looks to be some gold ignit maybe. Yep, gold ore. Let's see, we got some stone. The stones are not rolling, but we got some more. Make sure to take out the bushes, because that's where our berries are. We are about to level up. Okay. I need more coal. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft the coal. Um, I want to be careful about doing that because just in case a level up gets us our energy back, it does not. Okay. We're now level two. Ingot. Oh, it, it had looked like the G and the N were, were uh, opposite of each other. Oh, we have skills. We have skills we can use. Origin skill. We can find wheat, beets, and cotton will spawn more often. Or unlock steel, glass, and gain XP when building structures. Ah. Huh. I think we'll unlock industry. We've unlocked the industry skill, which then, okay. We can get access to carpentry and sewing. Okay. What do we still need? We still need a forge. We need two. Ingots. The word just sounds weird.
right now let's go we should have enough to now yep we'll make a forge um let's see what do we want this forge let's put it let's put the forge next to the furnace that makes sense yep all righty let's see farming we can build a fish trap we can build a bridge we need some wood okay well, first things first, let's go get more food. Alright. Not what I meant to do. Okay, we can create coins. We create keys. We create a slimy pickaxe and a bottle. Okay. We need jellies to create a slimy pickaxe. Okay, I guess it is nighttime when this happens. No other reason for it. So, okay, I, I, I see you. Can I, can I do something like, it's just there, but I'd figure like, okay, I should be able to interact with it or something. It's there, but it's not. It doesn't do anything for me by being there. Okay. I need glass and thread, I'm guessing. Because I'm guessing I need to like capture that in a bottle. If I had to guess, that would be what I would guess. Let's get some more energy. Of course, I go into a game not having any idea what I'm dealing with. So I could very easily be missing something important and not even know it. It wouldn't be the first time, it won't be the last. But our goal here is to find out if a game is worth the price tag and how we feel about it going forward. Which if you give me one second, just so we have a uh, a baseline here. Forger is currently twenty dollars on Steam. All right, just so we get that baseline. All right, now stay time again. And that little thing disappears. So I'm, it's gotta be. It just has to be related to like, I have to catch it in a bottle or something. I need sand to create glass. Okay, I can create some steel if I get some more iron and gold. Okay. Let's do, we need four of each.
We get one more gold. But we're about to run out of uh, energy, so let's get us some more energy. And it does auto save, which is always a good thing. When you're playing something that doesn't have uh, quantified save points, which this does not. Okay. Let's look around the world, see if we can see anything around the world yet. As of, nope, it does not appear there's anything within the world yet. We're just lonely here on our island. Oh, then we need to buy land. Okay. Okay, so our next thing is going to be to buy land. So let's see. Nothing in economic. So that's got to be our next thing that we get. Yep, we have leveled up. We once again have a skill point. This time we got to go for economic. buy land and expand okay this land is worth 30 oh look we have something uh oh careful it's gonna attack it attacks so we now have some jelly we have two jellies Maybe I have to do this in a certain order. Huh. Maybe it'll unlock something if I do this in a certain order. Haha! -ha. Oh, we got a big old treasure chest, but how do I get there? Oh, that's where the bridge comes in handy. See, I'm learning things. I'm learning things. Looks like it's about to be nighttime again. That's the cotton. Yep, it's nighttime once again. So bug is uh, bat bug thing is back. All right. Build. Right, we can now build a bridge. Which should be enough to let me get to this giant treasure chest. It is. I need a key. Okay, now I have to create the key. Okay. Which that was in the forge. Create the key. We need uh four irons. Okay.
We need coal. All right, when we get the we get the coal, then we can create the ingots. And then we can go create the key, which then lets us be able to. Ow! Oh, that that felt weird. Uh craft a key. Wait for that key to get done. In the meantime, let's just hack away, just cause. All right, we have our key. We have a flower. Let's see, can we hit that flower? We have anything going on with this flower. What is this? What's the flower do? We don't have a flower. Okay. We have Glasses XP gained by 20% with our nerdy glasses. Okay. All right, let's go. We don't have a blue flower. Let's go hit this blue flower. Oh, it's just okay. This is a regular flower. I thought we'd have a different kind of flower. Okay. We need two more jellies to create a new type of pickaxe. Okay. We need some farming. Like a fish trap here. All right, let's see what else we can get. So what's going to be is part of this is going to be just trying to get enough money to get the different options open. Now this is not like a game I've ever played before, so this cannot be considered like something in my wheelhouse. It just looked really cute. And if there's one thing I'm a sucker for, it is cute games. It's got a, it's got a very nice relaxing soundtrack, which is always something to look forward to in a game. You know, I'm not one of those who believe like a soundtrack can make or break a game, but it's always a it's always nice to have something to just relax to. And that's what this game seems to be. This seems to be like a relaxing game, like when the world's giving you hell. Oh, we went up to level four. Nice. The world's giving you hell and causing you chaos. Just kick back a forager. That seems to be the kind of game that we're looking at here, which I'm all for. I am completely for that. Yes, I know we have another skill point available. What do we got this time? All right.
sewing unlocks leather. Huh. Um, I think we're gonna learn coinage. Next time up, I think we'll unlock carpentry. I think carpentry is our next thing. The sewing station will need bricks. Uh oh. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Okay. Oh, and we caught something here. We caught some sand. Okay, so that's how we're going to get sand. Okay. Let's get some more energy back. Let's see. Thing about doing those is it actually takes our berries away, so we need to go find more berries. That's like I said, we're probably gonna need my guess is we're gonna need that. Uh, that jar or bottle, whatever it is, to catch that thing. That's my guess, anyway. Slimy pickaxe. Oh, we need more iron. Okay. We have to make sure we don't run out of energy. So after this one, let's go ahead and re up. I think we're going to need to add some more. Oh, whoa, we went up to level five. Here we go. Here's the one I was waiting on. Right, carpentry it is. From carpentry we get masonry, smelting, and wood cutting. Right? We're gonna want that uh trade market next. That's our next goal. I wasn't trying to make any brick actually, but Okay, I need this All Right for right now just do three uh Oh, he almost got me We got more jelly The slimes are attacking we got another flower Oh, there's a flower up here, too. The 
This is cotton. Some more cotton. Slimes have respawned. Oh, and we do need to give ourselves a little more energy. Right now, the one thing that we'll slowly and I repeat slowly find is that we need energy for way too much like some of the stuff that we need takes way too much energy and we're not finding enough berries right now it's partially my fault because i made those uh i made those fish traps let's get us some more cotton okay come at me come at me mr slime right Right now, can we eat the fish? Let's see, we might be able to eat the fish. Oh, the fish are worth 16 energy. Let's go ahead and eat that fish. Get our fish on. Downright weird as that sounds. Slime's back. Kill the slime. We get some more jelly. Get some more cotton. Get some more cotton. Got some more coals. They're calling it fiber. All right, we get that flour. More iron ore, okay. But that iron ore, does that? No, we still can only do one. Now, we did get a citrus. We're gonna go ahead and use that. using a lot and I repeat a lot of energies right now all right right now let's just make our coins we got some seaweed we got a fish. And we got another fish. All right. Well, I do believe we're going to have enough money to purchase a new island. That's a lot of coin. The 50, there's 60. I think we're going to go with the 60. We're going to need to build a bridge to get over to there, though. berries oh oh he almost got us all right we leveled up new skill point this time i decided that we were going to do trade so we can unlock the market 
Right, from there we can learn commerce. Oh, nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna want commerce. Yep, treasure. <sighs> Gotta build some uh <clears throat> Oh you Oh he actually he should have landed in the ocean. He shouldn't have been able to make that full jump. Right. Build bridge. Okay. All right, that should be enough. Oh, I need another key. Okay. And okay, now we gotta make a key, which requires, of course, two golds. Okay. Do we have an active gold? We do. Let's go ahead and take out the active gold. We got an emerald. Nice. That'll be worth something once we open the shop or get to the shop and we have something grow in our way. That's why I got to make it into gold first. Oh, I had enough for it anyway. Let's go ahead and make six of them. We got some sand, some more seaweed. We got a chicken. Haha, <laughs> my inventory is full. Um, we can eat the seaweed. Let's eat the seaweed. And let's go and eat the meat. That we just got. Okay. Okay, that should be able to... Can we create two keys right now? No. We more iron. Ig I keep wanting to say... Ignant. I don't know why. I have no idea why I want to say ignorant. Oh crap, I didn't even see the slime. We almost got caught. We almost lost another life. We almost lost another life. Oh, we get vampire wings. 30% chance to recover health when killing enemies. Nice. Although the guy looks really weird now, but that's okay. Right. Let's get us some more berries. Right, let's go and eat the orange. And let's eat the egg. Incredible edible egg. Um, let's see. Something here. We got some more sand. All right now we have more money. With the money, we're looking by land. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got fairies and we got problems. We got meat and hides. That big old bull was a little much. Oh, we got a fairy. Okay, the oh, the fairies heal us. All right, we get more flowers, which I've yet to find the use for, but we have them. I don't know if I want to waste the fairies though. Cause it isn't like they're gonna go away, right? They're they're gonna be there. 
All right, we're about to level up again. We almost leveled up. It'd be fun if we actually leveled up off the flower, though. We need to make sure to keep enough berries. Inventory is now full. The egg. All right, I need to get to those gold ones. Now, that means taking a bunch of stuff out. We may actually get a level up before we finish getting these gold ones done. That would be nice. Yeah, we're going to, because here comes. There's a level up. Okay. New skill. What's next? What are we choosing next? I think we just, I think we decided that we are choosing, choosing. It was that we're doing uh, commerce. That's jewelry. Unlocks amulets and gems sell for more coins. Supply. Market sell more items. Okay. I've yet to encounter a market, so I don't. Is that a cow? Wait, is that a cow? I think I have a cow to go kill. Um, excuse me, I have to go kill a cow. Please let me through. I need some moo moo juice. Come on. Come on. Let me go get some moo moo juice. <sighs> Come on. I cannot have dry cookie crisp. Thank you. Oh, whoa. Hi. child let my fairies rest your weary body I need to ask you for a very small donation I will reward you with the power of my fairies may light shine on your quests a small donation hey Numi I'm doing all right how about you this this bitch say a small donation and then wants a thousand coins. We've got def different definition of what small is. We seriously got a different definition of the word small. Oh, I'm sorry that you got a bad cough. I'm just like weather changes getting ya or you got something else going on. Okay. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. You slimes can. Nope. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself with this. It's a, uh, it's a rather, oh, I should, oh crap. I have no energy. I did not realize my energy was dead. Yeah, this is a really cute game. Oh, your little brother coughed on your pillow and you caught it, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a little cute game called Forger. It was a game that I was given a code for via key mailer. It is $20 currently on Steam. 
Yeah, um, as we've gone along so far, the glasses and those wings have uh, been things we found in treasure chests, which have different effects. Yes, um, it, they're a little hard to see. The little black things there, those are actually uh, wings. Inventory is full. Well, then let's go ahead and eat that meat. Oh, we caught something. We caught some seaweed. And we caught some more seaweed. Um, we can't do anything about the seaweed. Okay, I can sell. And sell the emeralds. There we go. That's worth a lot of monies. Okay, let's see. Um, no, wrong way. Let's buy some more land. Whoa! We got an achievement! Exceptionist. That's another 320 gold. 270. Alright, how much land? How much? Let's, let's go check out our new land we just bought if I can get around. Oh, of course I gotta build a bridge. Of course I gotta build a bridge. That should do. Let's see. Do I need another one down here? Yeah, it's uh it's a twenty dollar game currently. Which to me, you know, it it it's a little higher on the realm of what I like to pay for games. But it's a relaxing game. You know, if, if this had not been given to me as a, a game via key mailer, it would have probably, I personally would have waited on a sale without playing it just because I don't like spending that kind of money on a game, especially without knowing anything. Well, now that I know it, I think that I still think maybe the 20 might be a little much for my personal taste, but I think that um, you'll definitely get your money's worth out of it. You know, while initially it wouldn't have been my, I wouldn't have been uh, what I would have gone for. You know, I, when it comes to digital games, I, in truth, I tend to wait for a sale before picking them up. Unless it's something that I really like have to play. It, it also goes with physical games too, but um, physical games for the most part tend to be a little lighter on the sales. Oh, come on. Nah, you're not getting me this time. All right, we got another fish. Okay. All right. Do I have enough for the slimy pickaxe? No. We're trying to get a slimy pickaxe currently. Just because that's the next upgrade to the pickaxe. And I'm scared of going by that rainbow. That feels like it's going to take me like a warp to somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure how much I'm, uh, I'm willing to warp at the moment. You know, one of the things that I found really enjoyable about this is the music. And as you see right now, it's a uh, change to nighttime. We are currently in nighttime. We have a slimy pickaxe. We still need three more irons 
what do we need for those we need we're gonna need some more coal so let's go ahead and just go ahead and create 10 coal all right while that's going on let's farm some iron and we level up as well let's see what we can pick up we'll go to skills because uh as you go along you learn you're able to do different things you know it makes the, it gives you more within the game uh what does wood cutting do trees drop 50 percent more wood structures cost less stone and brick okay smelting furnace everything works faster i think we'll go with that next I think we'll make everything work faster. That sounds good to me. Craftsmanship will unlock royal steel and clothing. The flower press. We'll need that. We'll need that eventually here. Oh, we call something else. All right, now we're waiting for this. Let's go ahead and eat. We're gonna eat that. I don't want to sell all those jellies. Or stones or fibers. What did we catch? We caught another fish. All right, we caught some more fishes. More fishies have been caughted. Favorite Dragon Quest monster. Um. Huh. I mean. You know, I have no idea what uh, my favorite Dragon Quest monster could possibly be. I don't know. Um, <laughs> obviously, the slime. The slime is classic. Outside of the slime. I don't know. I like that. Uh, I like the bunny corns too. Always like I have a little a uh, small little bunny corns. He's like this big. Came from uh, Japan. He was not cheap. <laughs> he was not cheap. Oh, obviously, if you get to fight him, the the Metal King, if you can actually get him, but just in general, which I think is where uh, Numi was going, was which one do I just like? As far as recruit, that'd be a hard place for me to try to figure out. Just because sometimes to me, not necessarily what I like as far as um, like what's good in battle or are my favorite, just like Pokemon. You now, some of my favorite Pokemon are not what would be recommended for battle. You know, um, some of my favorites are Cub Chew, Cherubi, and Piplup are my top three Pokemon. and. You wouldn't really want those in a fight. <laughs> How about you, Numi? Since you asked the question. Oh, there. I'm sorry. I, I missed that. The gremlin. I can't 
can't pause, but I must answer with something. Give me a second here. So we're going there. My most used emote on Twitch. Not my emote, but uh, my most used one belongs to Burst Error. A very cool, very... I guess I'd call him laid back. But very cool dude. Uh, mainly does retro streaming. I trying to create again oh yeah I was trying to create the axe all right what do we or what do we need for the new pickaxe we still need three more okay yep it's one of probably I said that is definitely my most used emote on twitch Now we can create this pickaxe. We can create some glass now. Let's create some glass. Right, we have a brand new pickaxe. Damage increased by 75% and 50 more 50% 50 more jelly when killing slimes. Wow. Yeah, that was worth it. That was totally worth it right there. Oh, hi chicken. Hey chicken. Want to give me the egg? Yeah. Oh, I I can't do anything with that right now. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, let's go ahead and sell the stones and then eat the egg. We'll leave the meat alone. What are you? You're an amethyst. Oh, yes, we will definitely sell that. We got some fish. Then we're going to sell this jelly. Because we're going to get more jelly. Why are you crying? What's up? What's going on, Numi? What's with the tears, brother? Oh, crap. He got me. Okay. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. He didn't give me that time. And then you come on since you caught me. Um, the chicken. Let's just say the chicken uh, went to a better place. My character's stomach. Uh, let's sell off the fish and seaweed for that matter. And then we catch a seaweed. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can build something new. Um. All right, to keep it lit. 
at all times. All right. Oh, I have to build the market. Okay. I need a lot more wood. I need a lot more brick and I need leather. Okay. Skills. Um, leather work. Do I have anything for leather work yet? Yeah, okay. So I need I need sewing next. Okay. All right. Let's go make some more money. Well, I mean, that is kind of how you have chicken, Numi, is you gotta, you, you, they gotta die. I mean, there is, okay. And we just said what we're unlocking with this skill point. We're unlocking sewing. All right, Numi, well, have a good sleep. I will see ya next time and that's okay if you don't eat chicken i won't hold it against you that's majority of what i eat um we'll be doing a normal backlog stream tomorrow probably somewhere around the nine or ten mark uh central starting yep take care of yourselves or uh, yourself and i shall see you next time i see you bud Thank you for stopping through. Have a good night. Inventory's full. Inventory's full. Can't do nothing about the fish. Right? Eat the seaweed and then eat the fish. Of course. Uh oh. Right. Do we have enough to buy more land? We do, but we also want to make sure that we also, oh, at night, she's only out at nighttime. Okay. Okay. She's only out at night. Okay, let's go ahead and sell off those slimes. What else did I need to get that, uh, to get that going? Build sewing station. We need three more bricks. Okay. All right, let's get those bricks going. Let's get that sewing station made. You almost got me there. Slime almost got me. Slime almost caught me looking. All right, let's see what we have because we have a full inventory. Let's go ahead and eat the edible, edible, the incredible edible egg. Oh, we have a ruby. Yeah, let's sell the ruby. Is 
Let's go pick up the slime. More coal. Okay, that qualifies for that tree. All right, some more coal in here because we need coal. And I'm not talking about Adam. Not Adam Cole. Though that fact is undisputed. If you happen to get that joke, bless you. <laughs> if you don't, it's quite okay. It's a stupid wrestling joke. I make quite a few of them. I fault no one for not getting them. Oh, that's an amethyst. Oh, um. To use that to get our energy, use that, and then we'll sell that off. All right, we picked up some citrus. Okay, we can get down some citrus. Although it is nighttime and that's typically a morning fruit. So we've been going for over an hour now and my view has not changed. It's a cute little game. Like the game has not stopped at one, at any point. It has not stopped being cute. I don't like the fact that uh, this lady right here thinks that a thousand coins is a little bit. Like, I ain't down with that, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay. No, no, no. Um, build industrial sewing station. Sewing station over there. Yep, I should eat. All right, let's go see what we caught. We caught some fish, got some more sand, and some more sand. Let's build, can we have enough? Yep, yeah, we'll build another fish trap. Oh, and we leveled up by building the fish trap. Nice. Okay. What skill are we going to pick up this time? Textiles. Maybe we want to unlock vaults because we have a lot of stuff. So Aha! Brilliance will be next for 20% more XP. Okay, it's not in there. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, we need more. We need leather and wood for that. The vault, we need steel and brick. Okay. For steel, we need four gold and four iron. All right, while well, those are making themselves.
which I know this is also a, a lot later than a normal stream for me and I do apologize for it being so late um I kind of got caught up watching a couple people tonight so that that's on me so sorry about that all right how much to make leather we need thread all right so the most thing we need is thread let's go for max which is 17 okay oh we got me these bad boys at the same time coming in Anything else I can immediately get rid of? Um, I guess I can sell that off. Oh, crap. Wasn't what I was looking to do there. Okay. Fish. They give a lot of energy, though. Um, let's, let's for the moment sell off this to solve the seaweed. Right. Oh, we actually have enough for a bottle. Not at the moment. Right, steel. Ouch, that only creates one. I think that's exactly how many I need to make anyway. All right, let's see what else. Because we're trying to make this market. Like, this market is really what we're trying to do. That's our uh, one of our big ones we're trying to pull off. I need one more leather, so I need more hide and way more brick, but I can get the vault. I think I'm going to have to do the vault first. I think we're going to have to do the vault for first rather. Okay. Okay. I need iron. Okay. One. Two. Three. 
I meant to do more than one, but unfortunately I only did one. So we need more and more iron ore to be able to do that. Oh, hi. Really now? Okay, so... Right. We still need three more? Okay, so we still need more iron ore. Right, let's go find ourselves some more iron ore. I'm about to have to sell some fish. Yeah, okay. Sell that off. Sell off the seaweed. We can't sell off the steel yet. Sell off this gold ore though. And then uh, sell off this jelly. All right. Need more iron ore. Which I think is the blue ones. We have a ruby that we can immediately sell off. We get 90 out of that. We'll sell that off. All right. Nothing over there. Let's see. Come on. Let's eat some more of the fish. Need the wood. You always need the wood. This is exactly why I need that one done first. Do I have anything I can quickly eat? Here goes more nighttime. More nighttime action. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's why, because I can't actually break that. We got a level up. Right, what does our level up bring us this time? This is skill number 10, mind you. Said brilliance, yeah. Brilliance will help us level up quicker. 
Unlock swords. Ooh, we have swords. We got sword potential going on here. All right. All right. I need that hide. <gasps> I can't have the hide. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Um, I got to sell those. I need those hides. sand need that one last piece of leather which then allows me to Let's go ahead and sell those jellies off. Let's eat that. Eat that. Um. Right. Brings us to five leather, which should be enough. much was it to do it economic gotta build the vault first or can we we can build the market potentially we have the leather let's build 20 bricks 10 bricks or two steels 10 bricks and two steels Sell off those jellies now. Sell those. All right. All right, let's eat one, sell one. Two steels. All right, we get two more pieces of steel. That gives us enough steel. Then we'll just need to make the bricks. We're gonna make as many bricks as we can get out of it. Because we're gonna need a lot of bricks. Because we have buildings to create. That means a lot of brick. We don't have enough room for the hide, of course. Hey, okay, do I mean that I can quickly sell? Alright. Um, let's see. Sell the fiber. So I wasn't trying to do the fiber. We have, a, we have a cow on the horizon. We 
and get an egg. And we kill the chicken. With that, let's eat a meat. Yeah. Um, I'm in the process of building a, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? That's why I need to build all these bricks. Select maximum 16. I'm building a safe, which I, or vaults, which I believe is going to let me keep all the extra stuff. I don't know, but yeah, that like, that's what we're hoping. That is what we're currently hoping. Let's actually sell these flowers off. Eat a fish, sell the rest. Get the egg. The egg is worth one. Worth enough. And then sell the seaweed. Yeah. Hopefully here. All right, let's go find out. Yes. Okay. This is where we can put stuff. Although it only appears to work for a couple things at a time. Okay. Well, that kind of stinks that we can only do a few at a time. Okay. So I'm going to have to do that every time I want to make one. So I have to have multiple vaults is what I'm gathering here. Okay. I need another 14 bricks to create a market. Right, we need more coal. We're gonna max it out, yeah. But it's a lot for each one to get, for each one to get spilled, it's, uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit of stuff, but Shouldn't be that many different things to have to potentially need going on here. And I mean, this game is meant to ha be like a, you know, a long game. You know, you're not supposed to be able to beat this thing, you know, in an hour or two. You know, that's one of the other parts of it. You know, this is... This is not easy time right here. As to what the end game of the game is, I have no clue. Maybe you get off the island and go back to wherever you came from. That would make sense. Oh, crap, he got me. I thought I'd moved enough, but he got me. Yeah, time to eat. Wow, that took all of them. Uh, let's 
let's see. Boom, another level. Okay. This time around, what do we gotta do? I think we need to... I think we need to unlock combat finally. I think it's time to unlock combat. All right, unlock shrines. Frost Strike, okay. Alchemy. Magic. Can find wheats, beets. Trees drop more wood with wood cutting. Braziers. Oh, okay. Masonry, we're gonna need masonry next. Right? Uh-oh. We got, we got some problems here. Oh, or for that fairy, we might have been in trouble. What if at some point we can get more life? All right. Craft maximum number of bricks. And this is something, yes, I will be playing this offline as well. You know, this is not something I'm just going to completely put down once this stream is over. Which right there tells you a little bit of a taste of what my final thoughts on this game will be. For the fact that I will be continuing it offline. I wouldn't be opposed to potentially throwing another stream of it out there either. If I get just bored and just want to throw it up in the middle of the night, so it's a, it's definitely a good time passer too. You know, if you're looking for something good to pass the time, oh oh, can we? Yes, I can still get the egg before killing it. Oh, and that. Wow, it's still there, okay. That orange from earlier is still sitting there waiting for me. That's really cool. We're about to have to eat that orange. Yeah, we're about to eat that orange. Come here, orange. We're gonna eat you and your brothers. Eat your brothers and you, you and your brothers. I'm not sure what the correct grammatical way of doing that one is, but that's what happens. Oh, am I accidentally, I'm, oof. Literally just uh, taking up time to get enough stuff and then build a bunch of something. I mean, in a sense, it's uh, similar to most uh, 4G style games, <laughs> which is kind of a bad thing for me to say with the game called Forager. But a lot of farming style games work like this. You know, it's it's not uh, it's not something unexpected. You know, this is definitely to be expected. Oh crap! And we need to eat. We're gonna eat the seaweed too. Not in sushi form. No sushi here. Oh, we caught a 
50 fish. That is a achievement. Okay, nice. Let's see what's going on over here. We'll increase our backpack with this. All right. Because <laughs> we have a backpack already, but that will increase the backpack. And if I had realized that like 10 minutes ago or an hour ago or however long, yeah, that it was good though. I got it. At least you'd ask me if I was ready for the jelly. Four more inventory slots. Yeah. All right. All right. Sell those flowers. I have some big boy fish and then because they're worth what they're worth let's go ahead and sell the fish off all right we only need we need about a thousand more to make her happy And we only have about 20, 25 minutes left before we got to give final thoughts. Bone pickaxe, bone sword. We need to create bones, bones, create bones. We'll craft one bottle. I'm thinking the bottle is to catch the, the these things at night. It's what I'm guessing. I may be completely wrong in that, but I've been thinking that for a while now. Okay. Aha. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. That is what it seems like. All right. Now. Let's build our market. I want our market up here, so let's go clear out that area. Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Slime. Where'd you come from? I did not invite you to dinner. All right, let's clear out this area. And we'll find out when nighttime comes again, if that is what it does. And then we can also find out what those do. Playing this out entirely because there's a decent chance. Oh, we went up another level. That wasn't what there was a decent chance for, but let's go ahead and build that market. And we can't because... Okay. Okay, we need more room than that. Okay, then. So I need more room than what I had to get that.
All right. Come here, cow. Okay, with that said, oh, we got an emerald. Let's go ahead and sell off this emerald. Mining. Rocks drop 40% more minerals. That's what we're going to need next. We're going to need the mining skill next. Alright. I see you. I see you, Mr. Slime. Haha, <laughs> you were not getting the drop on me. I don't know who you thought you were, but you were not getting the drop on me. Not today. Not today, slime. Not today. Sweet. We got another emerald. Sell that bad boy off. Oh, we only need five more to be able to get the goddess or whatever she was satisfied come nighttime. All right, let's go holla at her. What's up, honey? Thank you. You are so kind. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. Very helped. Oh, yeah. I need a key. Son of a... Okay, fine. Make a key. Oh, I need some iron. Okay. Okay. Where are they at? Where are they at? I need one. Need to find one. Don't tell me now that I have it, I can't find them. Watch, now that I have the damn thing to catch them, I can't find one. Yep. Time to eat. The big eats. Get that fish on. Okay. A bottled torch bug. Oh, snap. It's worth money. Okay. It's worth 36. Okay. Okay, I can get down with that. I bottled them and sell them for cash. I can get down with that. Okay. Capitalism. That's capitalism, right? That's how capitalism works. I don't know. Maybe. Which if you're interested in one of the goofiest times I'll probably ever have. There is a clip that I made from a Saturday stream. Because my alerts were not working and a user had resubbed. So his alert didn't go through and I was asked to do the uh, alert. So I went back and made a clip of that. I think I did a pretty good job of it actually. So if you want to go back and check that out, feel free to. Oh, crap. Can't do anything when I'm weak. We got some hide and we got some meats. Feel like it's bonk again. We're getting the meats. Go full Arby's with it.
All right, we just need two. We need two of these. All right, there's number one, and there's number two. All right. Let's go make our key. A fairy aura. It provides passive health and energy regeneration. Oh, nice. Nice. Passive regenerations. I can get down with those. Okay. What do we need next? Sell off the slime. Sell off the amethyst and the topaz. Right? Two eighty, three fifty, three twenty, two seventy. All right, let's go. Right, let's go see the old man. Let's go. Uh, let's build a bridge. Excuse you. Hey. Um, I I kind of need you to get your ass out here so I can use you. Hey, stupid fairy. <sighs> okay, whatever. You're just the person I was waiting for. The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. <laughs> I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. Damn it. I just had a torch bug. And I sold it for money. I sold the torch bug for money. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need to create more jars. What do I need for these jars again? Or bottles? I need glass and thread. Let's create the maximum, which is only two. Because I need more coal. Holy crap. Um, let's create half, please. Yeah, let's go and craft some coal. Get some more wood while we're waiting. More coal, cause the funniness just can't end. The comedy must last forever. And there's of course torch bugs. Right. Get some meat. Alright, so we know what the next thing that I have to do is, which is get these torch bugs. Make 
make sure to always get the egg first before you kill the chicken. The real treasure in this adventure are the friends we make along the way. <laughs> that is true. That is definitely the truth of life. The real treasure of life are the friends you make along the way. Always make sure to treasure your friends. Because we may not be able to choose our family, but we can choose our friends. And if you don't like the friends you have, well, go ahead and try to make some new ones. Not always the easiest thing to do, but do try. Uncelestial. No, I have not heard of it. What type of game is it? Mining was what I was looking for next. Oh, a, a streamer. No, I have not heard of a streamer with the name Uncelestial. What type of stuff do they play? Unlocks cooked meat. I think prospecting will be the next thing that we'll go for here. Doing a Nintendo Power Challenge. Playing games from the top 30 list of each issue. Nice. That's a pretty, that's a definitely a unique challenge. I don't think I've seen anyone do something like that. Might have to check them out. And by the way, I don't know if you've been here when I've mentioned this. The channel's name has changed to Backlog Dragon. I am still the double XL Otaku. If you wish to refer to me as Otaku, I still answer to it. I answer to Dragon, Backlog, Otaku, uh, some specific nicknames some people have for me, and just about anything out there without uh unless you want to be rude and start just calling me all types of names under the sun no I, it, it's fine because i know a lot of times when people uh change the channel name they also change what they're going by i'm kind of uh, not exactly the normal way that happens Yep, he had to eat. All right, let's see. I need to create some glass now. We can create three glass. Ooh. We need to just catch some more sand here. We just caught another sand. Oh, okay. I mean, you can call me late for supper. I got a microwave. <laughs> and sometimes food is better cold. Or just as good cold. Like for me, okay, I'm I'm a weird one. Sometimes pizza, I actually like a little bit on the cold side. Depending on what kind it is. Because sometimes um, when it's hot, it's not as good The when the cheese is just started to cool down just a little bit and you don't have to worry about it like burning your mouth 
it's better. And that's just, just me. And that's also depending on what type of pizza. You know, if you're talking something uh, like a DiGiorno or something, no, that's that's gotta be that's gotta be hot. That tastes like garbage cold. But you're talking like uh, like some Domino's or some Pizza Hut. For the most part, yeah, that's better actually cold. Or if you're talking like uh, there's a local joint here called Johnny's. Their stuff is uh, is better cold. I mean, it's still good, warm or hot. Like I said, I'm just, I'm a weird one when it comes to that. <laughs> yep. Well, actually, <laughs> it's funny you say that. Um, When we first came down here, I pretty much lived on old Johnny's Pizza. We found out later it was like about two and a half weeks old by the time I finished it. Which nobody bothered to tell me, but um, it was still good. And based on it being good for that long, yeah, the peace porch, peace porch hot, peace porch cold, peach porch in a pot nine days old, yeah. But yeah, uh, literally, it was like. And the reaction from my brother-in-law was like, oh, that should have been thrown away a long time ago. Like, the fact that Johnny's Pizza stayed good for that long of a time just immediately kept me around as a, as a customer pretty much. Pretty much forever. I mean... Certain locations have issues, so I'm not necessarily going to be going to certain locations, but outside of that, I mean, oh crap, he just, okay. Okay, I pretty much have to grind for sand. Oh crap, that, that thing is stuck back there. So I'm gonna have to build a bridge right there. It does look like I can actually break the things that I've built if I need to and get back what they're for. What should you do if you break your leg in three places? Um, go to the hospital? Right, yeah. Stay out of those three places. Yeah, so at this point, we're just kind of in the hope Build a couple more fishing traps. I don't have any more berries to build more fishing traps. So we're kind of, we're in hoping for sand territory right now. Um, I have not played the Roger Rabbit game. I do believe that's on the backlog. If you want to see what games are on the backlog and they are categorized based on system, there is a link in the panels below, or you can use exclamation point backlog to get the link to the Google Sheets. Oh, that's, that's a line from the movie. I know that I, I recognize the line, but I can't remember it. But I recognize the line. And here's something interesting. A bee flying backwards, right? 
the guy that played um the uh live action lead character for who framed roger rabbit also played mario in the super mario brothers movie all right we got one more level One more than a threesome? I don't know. Again, things that... Oh. Okay, fishing is going to come in handy. And there are a total of... Two of them plus two of them. <laughs> yep. Right. Can we make a bottle now? We can make two bottles. It is going to take forever and a day to get those two bottles. But we can make two bottles. bringing back the childhood memories of who framed Roger Rabbit all right we have both bottles in a second all right we got these bottles however yeah that's interesting that they keep some of the jokes from the uh Well, I, I don't want to say interesting because it makes sense that they keep a lot of the jokes from the movie. So, what we're going to do now. Right. We have unlocked some extras, so let's see what these extras are. Ah, explains how the forager was made by the guy. A 20 page um, slideshow, essentially, explain how the guy actually made forager, which I think is pretty cool. And as I've said, there are extra things that are planned for the future for the game. Now, so we always finish these. Uh, what used to be known as 2XO reviews are now known as Dragon Takes. Always finish this with what do I think? Do I think that the game is worth the money as it stands? And do I think that you should go out and get it? The answer to both is yes. Now, as I've said, I personally don't drop $20 on a digital game of any kind. Um, I personally would have waited till this was 10, but having played it, I do think that there is an easy $20 worth of fun in it. And it's a really good game to unwind with. If you just want to just play a game and just kind of not have to think about too much and just like, you know, sort of like how you just turn on a TV and and just veg out to random shows that are on and not even really pay attention to them. You know, you can do the same with Forager. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay attention to the game. No, don't get that twisted. What I'm saying is that it's this kind of game where you don't have to do a whole lot of thinking. It's a fun, easy, nice, enjoyable, relaxing game, which there are not as many of these days. These days, it's more about how difficult a game can be and how much it can make you rage and how many times you can die. And yes, I know that sounds like I'm taking a shot at the Soul series and that's not intentional, but those type of games have become extremely popular and more and more games are trying to emulate that rather than be what this game is, which is just a simplistic and fun game. 
which we need more of in this world. We need more games that are just about the fun because I'm still all about that fun in gaming. Yes, yes, the hashtag has not died. The saying has not died. And with that, thank you everyone who has been here this evening. Thank you both to Flitchard and Numi and everyone else who's been here. I will be back tomorrow sometime in the late morning here in the central time zone in the U.S. with a normal backlog stream in which we'll be doing Crystalis as I'm going to be doing some RPGs uh, for the rest of the week on the normal ones. We will have another backlog quest stream tomorrow. As I said, we will have another Dragon Takes on either Friday or Saturday in which we'll take a look at SteamWorld Quest. Today, well, actually tonight, we found some fun in gaming. I hope you did too. This has been the Double XL Otaku here on the Backlog Dragon channel. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thank you for being here. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. I got to gozaimasu. Listen to just how relaxing this music is.